Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me for story time today. I hope you all had a really nice holiday and a really fun break. And if you had the chance since we got some snow, I hope you were able to get out there and maybe build a snowman. I know I did. I went out with my dog and I was shoveling and decided to build a snowman in the yard and he actually enjoyed eating the snow more than he actually helped me with building the snowman, but that's okay. We still had a lot of fun. Since we had some snow and since it's been kind of cold, I thought that the book that we would read today would be about a snowman and soup. What goes better with a nice cold day playing out in the snow than a nice hot bowl of soup afterward? Uh, before we get started though, next week um, we will have our snowman kits available. So all you're gonna need for these is just some glue, scissors, and crayons and the craft kits will be available next week. I'll also be on YouTube to do the instructional video. It's a really simple, fun craft. Um, so let's get started on our story. Perfect Soup by Lisa Moser and illustrated by Ben Mantle. I'm reading this with the kind permission of Penguin Random House. Murray shined the teapot. Perfect, he said. Murray set the table. Perfect. Murray looked out the window. Soup is perfect on a snowy day. He filled a pot with water and opened the cookbook. Ah, the recipe for perfect soup. Potatoes, red Murray, plop, plop. Tomatoes, red Murray, plop, plop, plop. Corn, Red Murray, plop, plop, plippity plop. Carrot, Red Murray, no plop, no plop at all. Murray dashed around the kitchen and opened all the cupboards. No carrot, moaned Murray. He put on his mittens and went outside. Murray ran right past Snowman. Looks like Snowman's trying to wave at him. Murray was in a hurry. He was ready for that soup. Farmer, will you please give me a carrot, asked Murray. I need a carrot for perfect soup. Farmer leaned on his pitchfork. I reckon I'd give you a carrot if you hauled some logs from the timber. I need wood to build a barn. Murray thought about his soup. He liked things perfect. You'll have your wood, said Murray. Murray scurried through the meadow. Snowman smiled at him, but Murray didn't have time to stop. Murray was in a hurry. Horse, will you please haul some logs? Farmer needs wood to build a barn. And I need a carrot for perfect soup. Horse shook her mane and whinnied. I'll carry those logs if you give me jingle bells. I want to be fancy like the town horses. Murray bit his lip. Hmm, perfect soup had potatoes tomatoes, corn, and carrot. I think I can get some jingle bells, said Murray. Murray walked into town. Snowman waved one stick arm, but Murray didn't have time to wave back. Murray was in a hurry. Shopkeeper, will you please give me your bells? A horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn, and I need a carrot for perfect soup. Shopkeeper peered over his spectacles. I'll trade some jingle bells if you shovel my walk. Murray looked at the mountain of snow and the shovel he couldn't even lift. He tugged on his whiskers and twisted his tail. Hmm, maybe I can find someone to shovel your walk, he squeaked. Murray climbed the hill. Snowman wrote a message in the snow, but Murray didn't have time to look as Murray was in a hurry. What does it say in the snow? It looks like he wrote, hello, Murray. Miller's boy, will you please shovel a walk? Shopkeeper needs a nice clean walk. Horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn and I need a carrot for perfect soup. Miller's boy poked a finger through a hole in his mitten. I would shovel a walk if I had new mittens. Murray flopped in the snow. He needed that carrot. If he didn't have the carrot, his soup wouldn't be perfect. 
there's a teeny weeny chance I could get a pair of mittens. Murray plodded down the road. Snowman called out, stay and play. Murray shook his head. He didn't have time to play. He needed things to be perfect. Murray was in a hurry. You always got to make time to play. Mrs. Wooly, will you please knit some mittens? Miller's boy needs mittens for his cold, cold hands, and shopkeeper needs a nice, clean walk. Horse needs bells to feel fancy. Farmer needs wood to build a barn, and I need a carrot for perfect soup. Mrs. Wooly shook her finger at Murray. Ah, such a bad, bad day. My yarn is a jumble. My cocoa just burned my tongue, and I will not knit mittens on this bad, bad day. And with that, she slammed the door on Murray. Oh, goodness. Murray trudged home, sat down, and cried. What's wrong? asked a voice. Murray looked around. He saw Snowman. Coco burned Mrs. Wooly's mouth, and I will never have perfect soup, Murray said with a sob. I can help, said Snowman. He reached up and scooped a bit of snow off a tree branch. Then he plopped the snow into Murray's lap. That will, kill, that will cool the cocoa, Murray sighed. But what do you want for helping me, he asked. Nothing, said Snowman. It's a gift. A gift, whispered Murray. For me? He jumped up. He ran over to Snowman and hugged him. Thank you. That was a good idea. A little cold snow that will cool the cocoa down. Murray ran all the way back to Mrs. Wooly's house. He plopped the snow in her cocoa. He sorted yarns and wound them into bright balls. Mrs. Wooly took a long drink. This is good cocoa. This is neat yarn. You have turned this into a good day to knit. She knitted a pair of mittens. These mittens are warm, said Miller's boy. He shoveled the walk. This walk is clean and clear, said shopkeeper. He wrapped up the bells. Hey, everybody's helping everybody else out. These bells make me feel fancy, said horse. She hauled the logs. This wood will make a fine barn, said farmer. He gave a carrot to Murray. Murray whistled while he finally finished cooking his soup. He put on his mittens and went outside. Murray ate soup with his new friend. It did not have a carrot. It was perfect. What did he end up doing with that carrot? Instead of putting it in his soup, he gave it to his friend because Snowman needed a nose. The end. Perfect soup. Thank you again for joining me for story time today. I'll see you guys next week. And remember, like always, be safe, stay healthy, and please be kind. I'll see you next time.